hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again dear friends hope you are all doing well so we are discussing the model question paper for the triple stream students right uh, for the mathematics subject subject code is bmat e301 today we will discuss uh, the question number fifth c of the model third right so the following table gives uh, the variations of periodic current over a period show that there is a direct current part of 0.75 amperes in the variable current and obtain the amplitude of the first harmonic right so this is your table where uh, time is given and amplitudes are given okay respectively so you have to use three formulas here so that you can uh, calculate so, sorry so that you can solve this particular question that is a naught these are the first harmonic coefficients these you have to calculate right a naught is equal to 2 by n summation of a a1 is equal to 2 by n summation of a cos of theta and b1 is equal to 2 by n summation of a sin of theta these are the three formulas which you have to use so in these formulas what are the unknown values a is given here okay unknown value is a cos of theta a sin of theta so it is summation we need that is why in the table you have to format a table and write down the given values t values a values and the theta you have to calculate so for theta there is a formula 2 pi t divided by t okay so that you can easily calculate the theta value and then cos of theta a cos of theta why i am writing separately cos theta just because when i multiple a with the cos theta then you will get a cos of theta Sim similarly you have to take sin theta then multiply a into sin theta that will become your a sin theta okay so now let me calculate it first of all i will write down the a values here so 1.98 1.30 1.05 1.31 minus 0 0.88 and uh, minus 0 0.25 and 1.98 now let me calculate this theta value over here see this is 2 pi t by t so this small t is given in the problem t is given in the uh, problem over here so what is the t value 0 first of all you have to calculate theta 1 theta 2 okay so let me show you over here this is your theta is equal to 2 pi into t t is here in the uh, what we call formula so first of all you have to take zero value so 2 pi into 0 divided by t will get 0 so theta is equal to 0 degree write down here 0 degree then you have to take theta is equal to you have to take t value as t by 6 in this formula so 2 pi into t by 6 divided by t this t and t will get cancelled you will get 2 pi by 6 you will get 2 into 180 divided by 6 this pi value is 180 you have to take so this is 360 upon 6 that will be your 60 degree 6166 6, 6 is right so i can write here 60 degree then t by 3 you have to take instead of this t so theta is equal theta 3 is equal to 2 pi into what is the value t by 3 so t by 3 divided by 6 so this uh, t sorry this is t over here capital t 2 pi t divided by t t and t will get cancelled you will get 2 pi divided by 3 which is equal to 2 into 180 divided by 3 so this is a 360 divided by 3 you will get 120 degree so write down here 120 degree okay now i will directly write down the values so that the video will not, not get too long over there okay so i am getting the angles here that is 180 degree here i am getting 240 degree then 300 okay then 360 these are the angles then i have to calculate the cos theta value over here okay so let me calculate by putting down the angles okay so see here this is your cos of zero degree sorry this is cos of zero is equal to one then cos of 60 which is equal to one by two that is 0 0.5 okay then cos of 120 which is equal to minus 1.5 that is 0 0.5 okay then cos of 180 which is equal to minus 1 cos of 240 which is equal to minus 0 0.5 okay then 300 which is equal to 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 and 360 which is equal to 1 so these are the values of cos of theta now a into cos of theta you will get a cos theta value right so 1.98 into 1 is 1.98 then 1.30 into 0 0.5 
point five, which is equal to zero point six five. Okay, then one point zero five multiplied by zero point five, which is equal to minus zero point five two five. Okay, then minus one into one point three zero, so one point three zero minus times, then minus into minus is plus, so zero point five into point eight eight, which is equal to point four four. 0.5 into 0.5 into 0.25, which is equal to 1 by 8, that is 0.125, but minus times. So here is the minus, that is why. So 1.91 into 1 is 1.98. This is all about the a cos theta value, right? Now let me calculate sine theta. First of all, take sine of 0, which is always equal to 0. Okay, then sine of 60, which is equal to. 0 0.8660 then sine of 120 which is equal to 0 0.8660 then 180 which is equal to 0 then 240 which is equal to minus times 0 0.8660 okay then 300 i have to take so here we have minus 0 0.8660 then 360 which is equal to 0. Now multiple uh, sine theta with a you will get a sine of theta. So 0 multiplied by this is 0 then 0 0.8660 multiplied by 1.30 which is equal to 1.12 then 1.05 multiplied by 0.8660 which is equal to 0 0.9093 I hope you are getting so this I am multiplying sine theta with a so 1.30 into 0 is 0 then minus into minus is plus 0 0.8660 multiplied by 0 0.88 which is equal to 0 0.76 then this one this is again positive 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.8660 which is equal to 0 0.2165 then 1.98 multiplied by 0 again 0 over here okay so now we have need of a summation of a summation of a cos of theta summation of a sine of theta in the uh, formula right so when i just sum up uh, this uh, a term over here okay you can omit one value why just because at 0 uh, amplitude is same 1.98 so at t value 1.98 same value is there for the two values so i can omit one value no need to take this 1.98 two times so summation of terms up to this one okay you will get approximately summation of a is equal to 4.5 and a cos of theta when you just sum up excluding this term you will get summation of a cos of theta is equal to uh, you will get 1.12 okay then a sine of theta summation of a sine of theta you will get 3.012 this is the value then put down in the formula a naught is equal to 2 by n multiplied by summation of a how much i am getting 4.5 so 4.5 now you have to take this n value okay this is your 2 by n n is your you have to take 6 by omitting one value 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay i hope you are getting 1 2 3 4 5 6 you have to omit one value just because values are same 1.98 1.98 so 2 by 6 multiplied by 4.5 so now let me calculate this one okay so see here this is your 2 by 6 multiplied by 4.5 which is equal to 3 by 2 that is 1.5 then a1 is equal to a1 is equal to 2 by n summation of so 2 by 6 multiplied by summation of a cos of theta is how much 1.12 so let me multiply it 2 by 6 multiplied by 1.12 which is equal to 0 0.37 0 0.373 so b1 is equal to b1 is equal to 2 by n means 2 by 6 multiplied by a summation of a sine of theta summation of a sine of theta is equal to 3.012 which is equal to this is your 2 upon 6 multiplied by 3.012 which is equal to 
now what you have to calculate in the question see here show that there is a direct current part of 0 0.75 amperes we have to check it so direct current is equal to direct current is equal to a naught by 2 this is the formula so a naught by 2 i can write a naught is equal to how much 1.5 so 1.5 divided by 2 which is equal to 0.75 so this is the correct we were supposed to show that 0.75 ampere is the current okay and obtain the amplitude of the first harmonic so amplitude formula is amplitude is equal to under root of a1 square plus b1 square okay so how much is the a1 a1 is 0 0.373 whole square plus b1 b1 is 1.004 whole square this is the formula for amplitude so let me calculate it so 0 0.373 whole square plus 1.004 whole square which is equal to 1.07 so this is the answer for this particular question i hope this is clear to you people so make sure you will share this video to all your friends thank you so much